On the 5th of October, Russia shot down their own S-70 Okotnik Hunter uncrewed combat aerial vehicle as it flew west over the front lines. The loss of this sophisticated and expensive asset could provide valuable intelligence to Ukraine and its allies about Russian drone technology, thus leading to efforts countering these types of drones in the future. As reported by the UK Ministry of Defence, it is likely that Russia lost control of the uncrewed combat aerial vehicle and took the decision to destroy the aircraft to avoid it falling into the hands of Ukrainian forces. A Sukhoi Enterprise, the S-70, has been in development for at least a decade, having been observed testing at Russia's Aktubinsk airbase. A key attribute of the S-70 is its reduced radar cross-section, which is intended to make it a stealth, deep-strike asset potentially capable of penetrating adversary radar and air defense coverage. The system is purported to be able to operate jointly with the Su-57 Felon fighter. It is likely Russia waited to the last moment before choosing to engage the uncrewed combat aerial vehicle, having exhausted attempts to bring it back under control. This demonstrates yet another expensive and embarrassing failure of Russian weapons development and will almost certainly delay the S-70 program. British military analysts note, ultimately the S-70 Okotnik crashed in Ukraine-controlled Kostyantinivka just 16 kilometers from the front line with its remnants recovered by Ukrainian forces. Additionally, reports have been made that the S-70 Okotnik B lost control and was shot down by a Russian fighter jet. The plane that was catching up with the second one was flying on two jet engines and the one that went down was flying on one and had the full tanks said the Ukrainian military. This could explain its appearance behind the front line and the hasty actions of the fighter jet, which launched an air-to-air -air missile at the already uncontrolled drone. The Okotnik program has been under development at the Russian Sukhoi Design Bureau since 2011. According to the developer's plan, the UCAV will be used to strike the enemy targets without entering the area of operation of its air defense systems of the manned aircraft. The vehicle will be able to carry missiles and air bombs with a total weight of up to 2.8 tons in its internal weapons compartments. Its length is 14 meters, wingspan is 19 meters, and takeoff weight is over 20 tons. At least three people died and four were critically injured after a Mississippi bridge, in the process of being demolished, collapsed Wednesday afternoon while work was being conducted at the site, authorities said. The deaths and injuries were confirmed by Simpson County Sheriff Paul Mullins, WLBT-TV reported. The Simpson County Coroner's Office was responding to the scene but did not provide any additional details, WJTV-TV said. The Mississippi Department of Transportation, in a news release, said the bridge over the Strong River on State Route 149 in Simpson County, about 40 miles south of Jackson, has been closed to traffic since September 18 as part of a bridge replacement project handled by contractor T.L. Wallace Construction. Details of how the accident occurred were not immediately available. So what's our story for... A seven-year-old boy died and six others were injured following an explosion at a house in the UK, police said on Wednesday. Northumbria Police Superintendent Darren Adams told reporters that a seven-year-old boy passed away at the scene, despite efforts by emergency services. Six others were taken to hospital, with varying injuries, he added. Adams said an investigation is ongoing to establish the cause of the explosion and he appealed to anyone with information to contact the police. ...into Lebanon against the Lebanese militant group of Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah began firing rockets into Israel on October 8 in solidarity with the Palestinian militant group Hamas, following their surprise attack on southern Israel. Almost one year of low-level fighting has turned into all-out war and displaced some 1.2 million people in Lebanon.
It is with great sadness that I stand in front of you today following the tragic death of a young child. As a result of the incident here in the early hours of this morning, a seven-year-old boy has sadly passed away. Despite the efforts of the emergency services, he tragically died at the scene. This is a truly devastating outcome. I have no doubt that the people of Elzig and Benwell and our wider region will want to join me in extending their thoughts and condolences to family and friends. The loss and pain they must be suffering is unimaginable. The boys' loved ones are being supported by specialist officers and we would ask that their privacy be respected at this time. I can confirm six people were taken to hospital with varying injuries. A number of people were also evacuated and are being supported by our colleagues from Newcastle City Council. We are working with our partners and the community to ensure all those who may have been in the area at the time are safe. An investigation is ongoing to establish how the explosion occurred. These inquiries are still at a very early stage and in the coming hours and days we will continue uh, to piece together what has happened so we can provide answers to the family as well as the wider community. We would appeal to anyone who has any information about what has happened to contact us.